Jeremiah 48, concerning Moab. Thus said Hashem, master of legions, God of Israel. Alas, unto Nebo, for it has been plundered, shamed, captured was Kiriathim, shamed was Misgab, and devastated. The glory of Moab is no more, and Heshbon, its enemies, have devised evil against it. Let us go and eliminate it from nationhood. Madmain, also be still, for the sword will come after you. The sound of outcries from Horonaim, plunder and a great calamity. Moab has been shattered. Its youths have let out a cry, for people will go up to the ascent of Luhith with weeping. Ascending weeping, for in the descent of Horonaim, adversaries heard the cries of calamity. Flee, save yourselves, be like a rare in the desert. For, because you put your trust in your accomplishments and in your treasures, you too will be conquered. Shemosh will leave for exile, his priests and officials together. A plunderer will come to every city. No city will be spared. The valley will be lost and the plain laid waste, for Hashem has spoken. Give Moab a wig, for they will be flying away. Its cities will become desolate without an inhabitant in them. Cursed be the one who carries out the mission of Hashem deceitfully. Cursed be the one who withholds his sword from bloodshed. Moab was complacent from its youth, tranquil on its lees, and not being poured from container to container and did not go into exile. Therefore its taste has stayed in it, and its scent was not diminished. Therefore, behold, days are coming, the word of Hashem, when I will send against it pourers, and they will pour it out. They will empty Moab's containers and smash its barrels. Moab will be ashamed of Shemon, just as the house of Israel was ashamed of Bethel, in which they trusted. How can you say, we are mighty men, brave men of war. Moab has been plundered and its cities obliterated, and its best men have gone to the slaughter. The word of the king, Hashem, master of legions, is his name. Moab's disaster is near to come. Its misfortune hurries fast. Mourn for it. All who are around it and all who know of its renown say, How has the staff of strength the rod of splendor, been shattered. Descend from glory and sit in thirst, O daughter who dwells in Debon. For the despoiler of Moab has come upon you and has destroyed all your strongholds. Stand and watch by the road, O dweller of Orer. Ask him that flees and her that escapes, say, what happened? Moab has become ashamed, for they have been devastated. Wail and cry out. Announce in Arnon that Moab has been plundered. Judgment is coming to the land of the plain, to Halon, to Jasa, and to Mephath, to Dibon, to Nebo, and to Beth Deblathaim, to Kiriathaim, to Beth Gamul, and to Beth Meon, to Kiriath, to Bozra, and to all the cities of the land of Moab, the far ones and the near ones. The horn of Moab has been nipped and its arm broken. The word of Hashem. We get him drunk, for he has been arrogant to Hashem. Let Moab wallow in his vomit, and let him too become a laughingstock. For was Israel not a laughingstock to you? Was he found among thieves? Yet whenever you speak of him, you wag your head. Leave the cities and reside in the rock, O dwellers of Moab. Be like a dove who nests in the sides of the pit. We have heard of the pride of Moab. It was excessively prideful his conceit, his pride, his haughtiness, and the arrogance of his heart. I know his fury, the word of Hashem, and it is unfounded. His heroes acted improperly. Therefore, for Moab will I wail, and for all of Moab will I cry out. Moan for the men of Kirhiris. I will weep for you like the weeping of Jezer, O vine of Sibma. Your shoots have gone over the sea, reaching the sea of Jezer. Upon your fruits and upon your grape harvest has the plunderer descended. Joy and happiness will cease from the fertile field and from the land of Moab. I have abolished wine from the winepress. They will no longer trample the grapes with cries of Hedad. No more Hedad! 
an outcry from Heshbon to Eliale. As far as Jahaz have they raised their voice. Outcries come from Zoar to Horonaim, a third-born calf. For even the waters of Nimrim will become desolate. I will abolish for Moab, the word of Hashem, whoever sacrifices at high places and whoever burns incense to his God. Therefore my heart moans for Moab like flutes, and my heart moans like flutes for the men of Kirhires. Therefore the prosperity that they had amassed has been lost. For every head is bald and every beard is plucked. On every hand there are cuts, and on the loins is sackcloth. On every rooftop of Moab and in its streets there is lamenting everywhere. For I have shattered Moab like a useless vessel, the word of Hashem. How have you been devastated? They wailed. How has Moab in shame turned its back in flight? For Moab will become a laughingstock and a source of fright for all those around it. For thus said Hashem, Behold, like an eagle, the enemy will swoop down and spread its wings against Moab. Carioth is captured, and the stronghold seized. On that day, the hearts of Moab's warriors will be like the heart of a woman in childbirth. Moab shall be destroyed as a people, for they have been arrogant to Hashem. Terror and pit and snare be upon you, O dweller of Moab. The word of Hashem. Whoever escapes the terror will fall into the pit. And whoever emerges from the pit will be caught in the trap. For I shall bring against Moab the year of their accounting. The word of Hashem. Those who flee stand in the shadow of Heshbon without strength. But a fire has come forth from Heshbon, a flame from the city of Sihon, which consumes the uttermost corner of Moab and the skull of the tumultuous people. Woe to you, Moab! The people of Shemosh are lost. For your sons are taken into captivity, and your daughters into captivity. However, I will bring back the captivity of Moab in the end of days. The word of Hashem. Until this point is the judgment of Moab. Jeremiah 49. Concerning the children of Ammon. Thus said Hashem, Does Israel have no children? Does he have no heir? Why then has Malcom inherited Gad, his people dwelling in its cities? Therefore, behold, days are coming, the word of Hashem, when I will make the alarm of war heard in Rabbah, capital of the children of Ammon. It will become a heap of ruins, and its surrounding towns will be burned down in fire. Then Israel will inherit its inheritors, said Hashem. Wail, Heshbon, for Ai has been plundered. Cry out, you daughters of Rabbah. Gird yourselves with sackcloth. Lament and wander about in the sheepfolds. For Malcolm will go out into exile, his priests and his officers together. Why do you pride yourselves on the valleys? Your valley flows with blood. A wayward daughter who trusts in her treasures, saying, Who could ever attack me? Behold, I am bringing a fright upon you from your entire surroundings. By the word of my Lord Hashem Elohim, Master of Legions, you will scatter everyone in his own direction, and there will be no one to bring together those who are wandering about. But afterward, I will return the captivity of the children of Ammon, the word of Hashem. Concerning Edom, thus said Hashem, master of legions, is there no more wisdom in Teman? Counsel has been lost from the children. Their wisdom has turned putrid. Flee, be evacuated. Dwell in the depths, O inhabitants of Dedan. For I have brought Esau's calamity upon him, the time when I will call him to account. If grape harvesters would come to you, would they not leave over gleanings? If thieves in the night, would they damage after they were satisfied? For I have uncovered Esau. I have exposed his hidden places, and he cannot hide. Plundered were his offspring, his brothers and his neighbors. And there is no one to say, Leave your orphans. I will sustain them. Your widows can depend on me. For thus said Hashem, Behold, if those who did not deserve to drink of the cup have drunk, will you be absolved? You will not be absolved, but you shall most certainly drink. For I swear by myself, the word of Hashem, that Bozrah will be made desolate, a shame, a ruin, and a curse. 
and all its towns will suffer eternal destruction. I have heard the tidings from Hashem, and a messenger has been sent among the nations, saying, Gather together and come against it, and rise up to battle. For behold, I have made you inferior among the nations, despised among men. Your awe-inspiring presence has misled you. The wickedness of your heart, you who dwells in the crags of the rock, who has seized the height of the hill, even if you raise your nest as high as the eagle, I will bring you down from there. The word of Hashem. Edom shall be desolate. Everyone who passes by it will be astonished and whistle over all its afflictions. Like the overturning of Sodom and Gomorrah and its neighbors, said Hashem, where no man shall dwell and no human shall sojourn. Behold, the enemy will ascend as a lion from the heights of the Jordan to a secure pasture land. For I shall bring the enemy suddenly and make him overrun her. And he who is chosen, I shall charge against her. For who is like me? Who can challenge me? And who is the shepherd who can stand before me? Therefore, hear the counsel of Hashem that he has devised against Edom and his thoughts that he has conceived against the dwellers of Teman. The youngest of the flock will indeed drag them off. He will indeed devastate their pasture. From the sound of their fall, the earth quakes. A cry at the sea of reeds, their voice is heard. Behold, the enemy will ascend like an eagle and swoop down and spread out his wings over Basra. On that day, the hearts of the mighty men of Edom will be like the heart of a woman in travail. Concerning Damascus, Hamath and Arpad are ashamed, for they have heard an ominous report and have melted in fear. There is trouble in the sea, cannot be calm. Damascus is weakened. She has turned aside to flee and trembling has overpowered her. Agony and pains have seized her like a woman in childbirth. How was the city of glory not spared, the city of my delight? Indeed, her young men will fall in her streets, and all the soldiers will fall silent on that day. The word of Hashem, master of legions. And I will set fire to the wall of Damascus, and it will consume the palaces of Ben-Hadad. Concerning Kedar and the kingdoms of Hazor, whom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylonia, struck. Thus said Hashem, Get up and attack Kedar. Plunder the people of the east. They will take away their tents and their flocks. Their curtains and their vessels and their camels they will carry off for themselves. There will be for them terror from all around. Flee, wander exceedingly. Go stay in deep, hidden places, you inhabitants of Hazor. The word of Hashem. For Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylonia, has devised counsel against you and has conceived a thought against you. Get up and attack the tranquil nation that dwells securely. The word of Hashem. It has no gates and no bolt. They live in isolation. Their camels will become spoils and the multitude of their livestock will become booty. I will scatter them in all directions, the remotest corners. From all sides I will bring their calamity. The word of Hashem. And Hazor will be a lair of serpents, desolate forever, where no man will dwell and no human will sojourn. The word of Hashem that came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning Elam in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah king of Judah, saying, Thus said Hashem, master of legions, Behold, I am breaking the bow of Elam, the apex of their might, and I will bring upon Elam four winds from the four corners of the heavens, and I will scatter them to these directions. There will be no nation where the exiles of Elam will not come. I will devastate Elam before their enemies and before those who seek their soul, and I will bring upon them evil, my burning wrath, the word of Hashem. I will send the sword after them until I make an end of them. I will place my throne in Elam, and I will cause king and officers to cease from there, the word of Hashem. But it will be in the end of days that I will return the captivity of Elam, the word of Hashem.